What is poppin' everybody? You can count Bieri here, uh, back with back on Doc's channel with another NU game. This time between Meeps and Eternally, uh, from the the Tyrants and uh, I'm not sure actually. I'm pretty sure it's on the end at the end of the video, so we're fine anyway. Um, so before we start the video, let's let, let, let's look at the team matchup. Meeps brought Sun, which is actually so interesting in NU right now. Uh, obviously, Phoenixor has dropped pretty recently, uh, which made Sun a lot more popular as well. Um, I'm seeing Regirock, which is usually the lead nowadays, with uh, Heatrock, Sunny Day, Stealth Rock, Stone Edge, Explosion. Um, uh, Sceptile is really interesting, I'm not sure what it could be. It could be like Specs, maybe? Leaf Blade? Uh, sorry, uh, Leaf Storm. Uh, this should be Growth Venusaur or if Sludge Bomb HP Fire Giga Drain. Uh, Executor is interesting because you don't see it that often. Uh, it's obviously Chlorophyll. It could be a lot of things. Uh, Leaf Storm, Psychic. I'm, I don't think it will be Trick Room. <laughs> um, it could be a lot of things actually. Uh, life Art, same. It, it usually either Heat Rock or just Life Orb, straight up with Knockoff. Uh, with Sunny Day. Then there's the Delphox, which could be a lot of sets, but I'm assuming on Sun that it's actually a very offensive one. As for Eternally, he bought a pretty standard bulky offensive team. Um, now, looking at how they match up, I'm pretty sure they're both going to lead off with their Rockers. Uh, Retrorock is a fine leap because there's really not much Eternally can do to scare it out. It can set up the Sunny Day, especially if Serbo wants to come in, it can set up the Sunny Day, so Skull does less as well. It can set up the Rocks, and um, I think that Eternally is going to do the exact same with Steelix, uh, because Meep's team really doesn't like Rocks that much at all. So let's uh, let's see what they want to do. Um, something that's interesting to notice is that Meep's doesn't break through Altaria that well, um, as well as Sneezo puts in a lot of work versus Meep's because uh, ice and dark coverage just destroy him, absolutely destroy him. Um, curious to see what kind of Embor this is, if it's Scarf Embor, then obviously with the Chlorophyll thing it won't do that much. He does leave with Red Rock, he does leave with Celix, okay, well, <laughs> that's a pretty good start. I'm assuming they're just both gonna rocks up here, um, as they are. And I'm not sure, the, I'm, I'm sure they're pretty sure the Reg Duel wants a sunny day here, and the city's might Heavy Slam slash Earthquake here. Um, I don't think he's gonna want to switch. He does Sunny Day. He curses up to Steelix. Okay, interesting. Um, Meeps has no real switch in to Heavy Slam right now. <laughs> so he might just want to exp Okay, he explodes. <laughs> he might just want to explode here because, you know, uh, the Reg Reggie Rock did his job. So now he could go out into either Delphox or one of his Grass types. But I don't think any of his Grass types actually knock it out at this point. I don't, uh, I don't think this is Executor or knocks him out with Leaf Storm right now. If I'm being completely honest, even if it's maybe specs, maybe specs does. It probably does at this point. Um, and Celix could use a heavy slam for a good amount of damage. Uh, it should I don't know if it opos. It probably doesn't, but it should do a good amount. Uh, let's see what is. Aha, uh -huh, 70. It's not life orb. It does lose a special attack though. So right now, Meep, uh, Meep is actually in a pretty weird position because he could knock him out with Leaf Storm after, but he's also wasting his stun that way, and. Um, uh, he's gonna be at minus four if he kills it, which means something like Sneasel could come out or Embor could come out, uh, even Altaria or Mages. Literally, even the fucking slow. Literally everything could come out and scare him out, and Sun turns would be wasted, which would obviously be very bad. Um, uh, looking at the matchups, uh, Venusaur could do a good amount of damage. Uh, you no, know, if this dies the next turn to Heavy Slam. So he might just want to go for, I don't know, Psychic in order not to kill Steelix. So slow so uh, Phoenix Roar might actually get a growth up or something. Let's see what it would do. Um, not entirely sure what, what other moves Executor actually runs. Leaf Storm, Psychic, Sunny Day maybe even. And HP Fire, maybe? Uh, he goes out into Altaria. Uh, not entirely sure why he could have just stayed in. On the grassy terrain, which is really cool because... Not only will Venusaur's uh, Giga Drain, Energy Ball, or Leaf Storm hit for a good amount of damage, Sceptile, Sceptile's Leaf Storm will hit harder, or if it's the Unburdened set, he will get the, you know, with Cross the Terrain, could be the Unburdened set, like Hollow and OU, uh, with, with uh, Acrobatics, Leaf Blade, and usually Earthquake, and SD. Um, we'll have to see, though. Know. I'm assuming he's just gonna sack his Executor here. Um, maybe this is Explosion too. As it does. <laughs> um, uh, the reason I'm laughing is because it's it's four <laughs> four six now and all all Meeps has done basically is exploded and got up you know sun and hazards. <laughs> he really hasn't done that much. He has worn down the Steelix, but I don't think the Steelix matters too much, unless it is the physical Sceptile, because in that case Steelix could have taken the hit and could have uh, heavy slammed it. 
So in that case it would matter. But this Altair is just roosting up back to 78%, 84% because of the Grass Terrain. Uh, Sun is still up, Grass Terrain is still up. I'm assuming for the same amount of turns, so 3 and 3. Venus or comes out, so um, I'm not entirely sure what set the Scepter would be then. I guess it would be Specs then? Uh, well, it doesn't beat Altaria if it's the Umbrella set either. So, he could either throw off a Sludge Bomb here or go for the Growth. Altaria's Flame Tower in stun will do a good amount of damage. So, you know, it's not thick padded because, you know, it's regular Venusaur. He does actually go for the Growth as Altaria throws off an Ice Beam? I haven't seen Ice Beam on regular Altaria in. oh, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Except for like, yeah, he, okay, so he goes into Steelix on the Sludge Bomb. The reason that was such a obvious play, or, you know, decent play, is because there were no other Sludge Bomb switchings, and he doesn't really need Steelix for anything else. Uh, it's still weakened to take on uh, a Sword Stand Sceptile anyway, and the rest of his team just kills it as well. Uh, maybe Knocker from Life War, he would have lived that, but that's basically it. So he decides to go into the Steelix on the obvious Sludge Bomb, the only way that uh, Venusaur can really hit the Altaria. And now, now Venus Rocket just throw off uh, Energy Ball, Giga Drain, Leaf Storm, whatever Grass type move he has in Grass Terrain. Solar Beam, that works as well. So the Seelix goes down, the Sun goes down, the Grass Terrain is still up for three more turns, so it was actually um, the Terrain Extender on the Executor, which is really awesome, really interesting set. So right now, Eternally has to go out into either Embor, Sneasel, or. Uh, depending on if Magis, Ms. Magis knocks us out. I'm assuming one of those who Embor sees. So he does go Embor. He's kind of screaming he's Scarf right now. Because um, if he's if he's jolly max speed without Scarf, then he sh might outspeed a modest Venusaur. Which, you know, in Sun makes a lot of sense. But otherwise, I think he's just going to go for the Scarf Flare Blitz, which uh, Meeps has no switch into with Rocks up especially because of, you know, Delphox. So I'm assuming he's going to go for the Flare Blitz. Um, Meeps might want to save this and go to Life Bart, but he doesn't. Okay, so he just lets it go down, which is fair. Ember goes to 75%. He goes to Sceptile. Okay, so it is the Umber that's it. Really cool, really cool. We have the plus one defense from the uh, Grassy Seed, obviously. Um, now he gets the plus 2 speed from the Unburden, and I'm assuming this has Acrobatics in order to knock out Embor. It could be Earthquake as well, but, you know, Acro is, is 110 base power, where Earthquake is 100, so I I think it would be Acro. Uh, I've seen the Acro set uh, before, it's not really common. It's usually SD, Earthquake, Acro, and Leaf Blade, and Leaf Blade in terrain is also going to hurt something, but I'm assuming he's going to want to throw with Acro, because it really has no switches now that Steelix has died. And he might want to save Embor at this point, I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, he has no switches to it. Hmm. 3 versus 5, but this Sceptile is a threat. He can't let it SD ever. So, the Sceptile is probably going to go for the Acrobatics. And more, let's see if it has Sucker Punch. Let's see if it's not Scarfed. It might have just been Jolly Bulk Up, for example. And it outsped the Venusaur naturally. I don't think it would outspeed it, though. Modest Venusaur, Jolly Embor. I think Modest Venusaur is still faster. So, I'm assuming this is Scarf Embor. Unless it was, like... Not max speed Venusaur, <laughs> but I doubt that because Eternally went straight into Embor. Confidently clicked Flare Blitz. So, uh, Eternally is, is running the timer down, so I'm assuming Meep's already clicked Acro. Uh, Eternally really doesn't have a switch into that. <laughs> and he also outspeeds the, everything on his team. And Ice Shard, especially with the defense boost, won't do that much damage. He does throw the Acro, he does kill the Embor, uh, gets some Ice Quest Dream Recovery. And Eternally goes out into what? Do you have to go for the. Um, for the Ice Shard crit here? Because I... Um, hmm. Altaria doesn't kill this with Ice Beam or Flamethrower. And I'm assuming he, ha he only has Ice Beam because, you know, he would have gone for Flamethrower and the Sun on the Venusaur. He does go Altaria, which I'm not sure if I agree with this play because... I guess it does take every hit if it is Acro, Leaf Blade, Earthquake. Um, if it has anything to touch his Altaria though, uh, it really is kind of fucked. So let's see what this uh, Scepter wants to do. Does it have anything to touch it? He goes for the SD. Oh, this boy is a threat. Ice Beam does not do that much damage. Last turn of aggressive terrain. Altaria is to 71. Um, I don't think Acro knocks out this Altaria. So unless he has another coverage move I'm not really thinking of right now. Maybe... Uh, what, Stone Edge? I don't know if it gets Stone Edge. Um, so unless it gets another... I, I'm not, I don't think it's going to be Dragon Claw, right? That would be really weird. <laughs> so it has a, it, unless it has another coverage move, I don't think it can Oko this Altaria right now. Um, but I guess we'll see. It is at plus two speed, plus two attack, and plus one defense right now. This this Septo is becoming is becoming a threat, and unless uh, unless it can touch his Altaria, it might just sweep through his entire team. Um, the only thing Eternally could do then is Ice Shard crit this Septo. 
because a regular oh it has rock slide oh my god yep Altaria is gone so I think Eternity's only play at this point is actually going out at the Sneasel and getting the Ice Shard off with a crit um, if he does get that then he actually might still win with the Sneasel <laughs> uh, it would be a pretty close game but I'm pretty sure that's his only chance like he has a wait they, they changed crit mechanics right so he has a four point something percent chance to win at this point I don't think that, that Slowbro takes a leaf blade, especially if it's Adamant uh, Scepter, which we don't know yet, or I don't know yet anyway, because uh, if you run the Unburdened set, then you're plus two speed with a Scepter, which already has an insane amount of speed. Um, so you could easily go with the Adamant set so you do more damage and you still outspeed the entire unboosted metagame. Uh, uh, sorry, the entire boosted metagame even, uh, except for maybe uh, Scarf Excel World, which is no set. Mm. So if I were Eternally, I would probably go to Sneezer right now and try to get the Ice Shard crit and then hope for another miracle. Um, if the if the Delphox is... No, the Delphox shouldn't be able to touch the Slowbro. Slowbro is a Z-move user. Uh, besides maybe uh, Grassnut, but on the Grassnut he could go out into Sneezer as well. So uh, yeah, he's, he definitely still has a, has a shot if he fits the next Ice Shard. He has to go into Sneezer right now on Ice Shard. Unless the Slowbro is Rindo Barry, which I definitely doubt. And Slowbro kills with Psychic or Ice Beam or Fire Blast because Psy Shock wouldn't do it because of the plus one defense. Um, unless that all happens, I'm pretty sure Eternally just loses. So, let's see what he wants to do. He's, he's thinking a lot about this turn. Um, yeah, I think he has to go out into Sneasel. Even unless he's Rindo Barry with a coverage move for Septo on his Slowbro, but I seriously doubt that. He does go out into Slowbro. Is it Rindo Barry? Because if it's. Looking at the team, I think it's a Z move to either this or with Magis. And even if it's Culper, even if it's Leftovers, it doesn't matter because plus two Leaf, especially if it's Adamant, should be able to kill this Slowbro. Um, so I'm not entirely sure why he went out into this first. Maybe he does have attack for it, I don't know. Leaf play? No, he just dies. Michael Nelson Trout. That's that's gone. So he has to go to Sneasel. He has to click Ice Shard and has to go for the crit. Like he should have done the previous turn. Not sure why he didn't go for it. So Ice Shard does not get the crit and that just dies. So um, I know this Miss Magic's Fist Death is nothing. So this should die to a plus two Leaf Blade as well. As he goes for it and it's over. Um, it was a really interesting game. Really interesting team on Meme's part as well. The Sun team with the Grassy Terrain. He set everything up for the Sceptile to win. He damaged the... Let me pause it for a second. He damaged the uh, Steelix, which was really nice for his Sceptile to win. Because if it's Rock Slide, Leaf Blade, Acro, then the best move it would have was Leaf Blade and Terrain, which wouldn't do that much. And Heavy Slam uh, would do a hefty amount to the Sceptile, even at plus one defense. Uh, because Sceptile's defense just isn't really you know, that, that good. Um... So weakening the, the Steelix was actually really good for him early on. Uh, that's why probably why he went for the Leaf Blade into the grassy terrain. It was that was it's a really interesting team and it's kind of a attack team and it worked out versus Eternally. Um, in hindsight, Eternally should have kept the Steelix around in order for him to check the Septile a little bit better. But you know it's hard to see this coming. Um, but but definitely well played on Meep's part. He set everything up in order for the Septile to sweep. Uh, unless he got crit by the Sneasel, he was actually in a really good position. Um, and yeah, that's actually going to be it uh, for today. I'm pretty sure that uh, Doc actually still wants to show off the standings, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> it is the Scooters vs. Tyrant, if I'm correct? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to pause it right here. This is Scooters vs. Tyrant. Um, as you can see, uh, Meeps just put a, up a win for their team in NU, but um, I'm pretty sure this is actually kind of outdated because this was played a few days ago. <laughs> At least one day ago, so I'm not entirely sure what the standings are right now. You're going to have to uh, you know, hit it with docs or doc <laughs> in order to find out what happened there. But uh, that's going to be it for this game. This is for Meeps versus Eternally. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to check out more videos of Doc and, uh, you know, me. <laughs> Shoutouts. Uh, <laughs> and uh, make sure, I, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure to hit that like button. And I will see you next time. Alright, later.